What is going on everybody, it's your boy Nathan with Skills, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you my fastest time ever doing Operations Dark Hours Raid. Now this is on normal, not discovery, so for all of you guys who are going to say that's probably discovery, no this is normal, and you'll see at the end when I show you the exact time that we completed it in 12 minutes and 16 seconds. Now we can definitely speed this up, we had a couple places where we messed up and we didn't get what we wanted, but that happens when you are doing speed runs. Not everything goes your way and you need the perfect run to get those really fast times. And I think right now on um, PS4 at least, it's under 10 minutes. So I'm not sure what the time is on Xbox. So right now I have 12 minutes and 14 seconds on PS4, which I think is pretty good. And these runs take a lot of work, take a lot of communication, take a lot of practicing. And I've only really been practicing with this team right here for about two, three days max. I think they've been practicing longer, but me practicing with them, playing with them, um, probably like two, three days. I just don't have time to do speed runs all the time. You know, we're trying to create content for multiple games for you guys. So you guys have that entertainment value on this channel and on my other channel. It's just really tough for me to really like Take the time and dedicate 100% into speedruns when you can spend hours and hours. But they're fun to do, especially when you get this type of communication, this type of teamwork. Everybody's in sync. No one's really talking. I don't have mics on right now, so you guys won't hear the talking for the rest of the video. But they are communicating and people are saying things. But a lot of times, everybody already knows what needs to be done. And the only talking that's really going on is the communication with sync shots so when we do a sync shot on boomer when they're talking about dropping the boss before weasel comes out and then of course on razorback the sync shots are what are key with speed runs and get you those really really fast times for the rest of the video i'm going to be talking about when i do switch my builds and what builds i was running so for the first part i was running a berserk clutch build and for the second part i switched to my sniper build and all these builds are on my channel in case you guys were wondering. So for this one, I switched to my sniper build because I'm one of the snipers that shoots at Boomer. And I will run this build all the way through Weasel. So that is be the next time I actually talk to you guys and tell you what build I switched to. So for a second, I thought I was going to switch to my second build, but I ended up just staying with the same build I was running for Boomer. So I selected and I'm like, oh, never mind. I'm actually going to keep it for this one. Usually I used to switch those builds until I perfected this build that works great for Weasel and Boomer. into that terminal and see what we can find. Transfer complete. There's a lot of data to sift through here. This is gonna take a few minutes. Hostile radio intercepted. The division are on site. Do not, repeat, do not let them touch that plane. Anything they want to protect is something we should be concerned about. Check out that plane. I'm going to take a dog. 
Anthony Carter. Quality acceptable. Going off this data Isaac transmitted, Razorback must be the new mobile weapon system Black Tusk brought in. It's definitely some kind of vehicle, but there's no... So right here, I switched to my Clutch Berserk build. So the same build I was running on the Tarmac at the very beginning. Razorback might still be parked in the main offloading area. Head through baggage handling, then the mall. Hostile radio intercepted. Weasel isn't responding. Assume he's dead. Copy that. All elements be ready for contact. So right here I'm going to be switching to my buddy and Lucy sniper build and then I'll switch to one more build right before we drop into Razorback. So this is my buddy and Lucy sniper build. Out of and now you're going to see that I do switch to the final build of the run, my Razorback Sniper build. All secondary systems online. Primary systems at 76%. Anticipate full combat readiness in T-60 seconds. We cannot lose this airport. This ends here. Vehicle designation DDP-52 Razorback confirmed. Wreck that fucking thing, Agent. He's dead!
systems exposed. Critical systems compromised. Missile droids activating. And that is the run right there. That is the 12 minutes and 14 seconds dark hours, full completion, normal raid run. My fastest time yet. There you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I appreciate the support. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And until the next Division 2 video, nothing but skills out.